We turn live now to Bogota. We're joined by Clara Lopez Obregón. She's a former presidential candidate for the leftist Polo Democrático Party. Thanks so much uh, for joining us today. To start, what do you think we can expect from this latest round of dialogue in Cuba? So we have been very worried uh, with the stagnation of advances in the peace process. So that we have hope that in, in this uh, instance, there will be progress towards the two points that are left in the agenda, uh, the problem of uh, transitional justice and the de definitive laying down of arms of the guerrilla. Uh, but then we think that it is important that both parts, both sides, uh, make an effort to de-escalate the conflict because uh, the Colombian people have a lack of confidence with uh, the ongoing war in the middle of the negotiations. How, how close would you say we are in terms of actually reaching a, a, an agreement there in Colombia? There is no doubt that we are near the end than the beginning, but that we are in a very uh, particular and uh, sensitive point of uh, you know, finding out whether we are really beyond the point of no return. Both the government and the guerrillas have said that they will not leave the negotiating table without reaching an agreement. And that is a petition that the victims and all political parties are uh, betting on, that uh, in spite of all the difficulties, they will find a way to negotiate the end of this uh, conflict that has been going on for more than 60 years. All right, Clara Lopez Obregón, former presidential candidate there in Colombia. Thanks so much for joining us this midday. Thank you very much.